Hey, um, really fun practice today, I think. A lot of fun turning things to come. So yeah, let's jump right in. You don't need any props, just yourself, your beautiful yoga mat, and you are ready to go. Um, let's start right away with cat cow. So come to your all fours. Let's do a couple of traditional ones first. We're gonna be on our hands quite a lot. So focus on your hands already from the beginning. Spread the fingers wide, press all the knuckles down and inhale, just forward shoulders back through the length. You can start to arch your lower back as well. Exhale around, tuck the tailbone under, press the space between your shoulder blades up to the ceiling. Inhale, melt your heart open. And exhale around, press your knees down, your shins down as well. Inhale, melt open. And exhale around. Inhale one more time, outer rotate the shoulders. And exhale around. Come back to your neutral spine. And now turn your right fingers facing out. So Thumb is pointing out, fingers facing you. Keep the right elbow micro bent, and same thing here. Try to keep the weight even on your hands. The whole hand, press also the heel of your right hand down when you round down. Inhale, micro bend your elbows, just forward shoulders back. And exhale, round. Inhale, pull the mat back with your fingers towards your knees. And exhale, around. One more really good opening for your wrist as well. And exhale. Come back into your neutral spine and change your hands. Out or rotate the left shoulder. Thumb is pointing out, fingers facing you. Again, micro bend your elbows and inhale, arch open. Exhale, activate your core. Inhale, exhale, inhale, really moving the space between your shoulder blades especially, and one more inhale, and exhale, nice, come back into your neutral spine, fingers face forward, and now bring the Right fingers behind your skull, hug your ribs in, and inhale, open the right elbow. Exhale, bring the right elbow to meet your left wrist without bending your left elbow. Inhale, twist, open your chest, and exhale, round in. I really press the left hand down to open. Exhale, round. Inhale, open. Exhale, round, and last inhale, really reach your right fingers up to the ceiling and then swing it underneath your left arm. You can bring the right cheek, right ear down to the floor. Maybe walk your left fingers over your head, maybe even a little crossed towards the right front corner of your mat. Take a couple of inhales, exhales. And slowly bring the right hand in front of your face, the left hand better, and come back into your all fours, the other side. Left fingers behind your head, open the elbow, and inhale, open it a little more, open the whole chest, and exhale, left elbow meeting your right wrist without bending your right elbow. Inhale, open, press the right hand down to lift up, and exhale, round in. Inhale, widen your back. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last inhale, open. Also release the left fingers reaching up to the ceiling. And exhale, swing underneath your right arm. Get the left ear, the left cheek down. Right fingers can walk forward or even a little bit crossed towards the left front corner of your mat. Settle in. Take a couple of 
breaths here. And slowly come back to your all fours. And now step your right foot outside of your right hand, maybe a little bit further forward, but so it's a little bit wider. And then right arm reaches up to the ceiling, bring the right fingers behind your skull, open the elbow, same thing here. Inhale, open. Exhale again, right elbow meeting your left wrist. Inhale, you can keep your hips low. And exhale, round in. Inhale. Exhale. Few more. Open. Exhale, round in, aiming to your left wrist. One more inhale. And then extend your right arm up over your head, reach forward. And through the length, start to extend the right leg, half Hanuman, bring the right fingers down. Pull the chest forward, shoulders back, flex your right toes up. Through the length, you can lower down. Try to square your hips, outer right hip back in, left hip forward. Lengthen inhale, melt your chest a little deeper down for your exhale. Inhale, create length. Exhale, deepen. Inhale. And exhale. Bend your right knee and just step your right knee back. Let's do the other side. Step the left foot outside of your left hand so it's a little bit wider. You can make it a little bit longer. Longer distance too so you can release your hips down. And Open your left arm up to the ceiling, left fingers behind your head. Inhale, open your chest a little more. And exhale, left elbow meeting your right wrist. Try to keep your right elbow as straight as, straight as possible. <laughs> Inhale, open. Exhale, round in. Inhale, press from the floor to twist a little deeper. Exhale, round in. Inhale. Exhale, last inhale, open the elbow and then reach your left fingers up over your head. Through the length, lower the left fingers down, start to straighten the left leg, half Hanuman, you can pull the shoulders back, just forward through the length to release down and give your hamstring a little time to start to open, rather allowing the opening, the stretch to happen, then forcing it, using your breath. Inhale, create length, space, and exhale, let the gravity melt you down a little deeper. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Nice. Bend your left knee and step your left knee back. And you can walk your hands forward a little, tuck your toes under and lift your hips up to your first down dog. You can walk your knees, your heels a little. Free movement, whatever feels good on your spine, the back of your legs. Really grounding your hands though. Get the energy from the floor so you can push away to lengthen the tailbone up to the ceiling. Start to find a stillness. And now bend your knees and bring your hips a little closer to your heels. Stay low, just shift the body weight forward to your plank, shoulders over your wrists, and then lift your hips back up to your down dog. Again, bend your knees, bring the hips down closer to your heels. Stay low, shift the body weight forward, shoulders over your wrists and lift your hips up to your down dog. Keep going like this. Inhale, bend your knees, hips down. Exhale to your plank. Inhale, 
Lift your hips up and exhale, let the chest melt a little closer to your knees. Again, inhale, bend your knees, weight back. Exhale, stay low to arrive to your plank. Inhale, up dog, and exhale, sorry, down dog, and exhale, just deepen. Let's do one more. Bend your knees, hips down, stay low, shift weight forward to your plank. Lift your hips up and exhale, just let the chest melt down a little deeper. And now come up to the balls of your feet and tuck your tailbone under, round your spine to roll down to your plank. Then bend your knees, widen your sit bones and push away from the floor to lift your hips back up to your down dog. Inhale, roll through your spine, tuck your tailbone under, hips down. Bend your knees, exhale, widen your sit bones up to the ceiling. Again, inhale, roll through, down to your plank. Exhale, bend, push away from the floor to lengthen up. One more inhale, roll down to your plank. And exhale, lift your hips up to your down dog. Now bend your right knee and step the right foot between your hands. Release the left knee down. You can keep your left toes stuck under if it's okay for your knee. Low lunge, let the hips sink down, but square your hips. Let's do a little fluid uh, movement here. So when you bring your hips down to your low lunge, cactus the arms, bring the elbows behind you, push the chest forward, open your shoulders, and then lift your hips up. Try to tuck your tailbone under a little, round your spine, maybe your hands meeting in front of you. Inhale, low lunge. And exhale, tuck the tailbone under. Really roll through your spine, make it really dancey. Nice warm up and really strong for your core. So think it, it is all happening from your navel. Now navel in, press the right heel down and around. Let's do a couple more. Inhale, make your own resistance. Make it really dancey. Feels so good. The inner power, what you have, we all have. One more inhale, stay here. Release the left hand down, right fingers reaching up, over your head forward, and then Bring the right fingers down, turn your left heel in, and you are in one knee stand. Here, push your hips forward a little. So you really want to strengthen the left glutes and straighten your hip flexors. 90 degree angle on your right knee, right elbow on your right side, and inhale, bend up and over to your right. Exhale, over to your left. Try to do it only sideways. So inhale up and over to your right. And exhale, maybe left fingers finding the floor, reach over to your left. Try not to tilt your hips back. So only sideways, sideways the movement. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale, maybe even lifting the right leg off the floor. <laughs> Let's do one more. Inhale. And exhale. And then come back upright and really lift from the lower core. Push your hips forward a little. Tighten your left butt, butt cheek, <laughs> your glutes. And this is tricky. Try to find your balance even for a second or two. Always lifting from the front. Strong, strong core and your glute. Maybe lighten for a second, Whee! or maybe extend for a second. <laughs> try again. Tricky one, tricky one, but try not to tilt back with your hips. Whee! There we are, <laughs> working on it. And frame your right foot with your hands, tuck your left toes under, step your right foot back into your plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. And then step your left foot within your hands. Release the right knee down. Again, you can keep your right toes stuck under if that feels okay for your knee. 
or release your right toes. Bring the hips down, find the squareness, and then cactus the arms. Push your chest forward, shoulders back, open your heart. And exhale, tuck your tailbone under, bring the weight back around your whole spine, maybe hands meeting in front of you. Inhale, arch open. And exhale, round, really press the left heel down, right knee down, the ball of your right foot down to get the power from the floor. But your navel is leading the movement. And exhale. Really enjoy this resistance you are making yourself. Really fluid but really strong. One more. Inhale, and then bring the right hand down and the left arm reaches up over your head, reach a little further. Bring the left fingers down inside of your left foot, turn your right heel in, back behind you, and come up to your one knee stand. Again, push your hips forward. I know, again, I'll be back facing you, that's all right. <laughs> So straighten your hip flexors and left elbow on your left thigh. Inhale, reach over to your left and exhale without tilting your hips over to your right. All this is starting from your center. Inhale. Exhale, up and over. Inhale. And if you want, you can always lift the left leg off the floor, extend it a little, but keep the right hip flexor straight. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Really waking up your side bodies. And then come upright. Again, push your hips forward. Navel in, find your core and your right glute and see if you can find your balance for a second on your right knee, maybe extending the left leg, maybe just keep it bent. Sometimes this side is easier, usually not. I love this. Every day the practice is so different. It's always a little journey. Never know. <laughs> and frame your left foot with your hands. Tuck your right toes under, step your left foot back into your plank and exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, try to open your shoulders, micro bend your elbows, and exhale, hips up to your down dog. Take a breath in, take a breath out. And inhale, lift your right leg up to the ceiling, three like a duck. Exhale, around your spine, shift it forward, step the right foot between your hands. Bend your left knee and come up, double bent leg. Same thing here. So inhale, when you cactus your arms, push your chest forward, lengthen the left knee behind you, open your shoulders, and exhale, bend your left knee, tuck the tailbone under, round your upper back. So hard chest forward, shoulders back, and exhale, hard back, hide your hard hands together. Inhale, and exhale. This is gonna look really different for all of us. Just, just enjoy the fluid movement for your spine, strong center. Let the energy flow. Let's do one more inhale. Release the left hand down, right arm reaches forward, up, overhead, and then start to walk your hands over to your left, turn your left toes out, extend the right knee, skandasana at the back of your mat. You can bring your hips down, grab the left ankle with your right hand, and inhale, reach over towards your right toes. And exhale, you can bring the left elbow to your left inner thigh, left knee, push it open, and right arm reaches up, open your chest. Again, inhale, grab the ankle, reach over to your right. And exhale, push the knee open, chest open. Inhale, if you want, left hand slightly behind you and lift your hips up, swing your hips up. 
Inhale, over to your right. Again, up and over. Breath leads the movement. Let's do one more. Inhale. And exhale. Nice, now bring the right hand behind you. Left foot flat on the floor and see if you can lift the right leg off the floor for a moment. Lift it in, heel up first. And then lower the right leg down. Stay low as a little ninja. You can walk your fingers forward or stay low without, your, without the help of your fingers. Back into your warrior two though. This is actually our first warrior two for this class. So really widen your back. Bring the hips down, turn the right palm facing up. Inhale, up and over. Feel the side body stretch. And exhale, hands on either side of your right foot. Step your right foot back, Chaturanga. Shift weight forward. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Take a breath. And inhale, lift your left leg up to the ceiling, three legged dog. Exhale, knee to your nose, shift weight forward without any sound. Make space to step the left foot through. Bend your right knee, double bent leg. Bring the body upright. And we start to flow. Make our own resistance, cactus the arms. Just forward, shoulders back, lengthen. And exhale, round, tuck the tailbone under, hide your heart. So push the chest forward, heart forward. And now round your spine. Inhale, still try to get the shoulders away from your ears. So it is not happening from your shoulders. It always starts from your navel, from your center, strong core. Inhale. Exhale, one more inhale, release the right hand down. Left arm reaches up over your head and then walk your fingers towards your right and your right toes out. Extend the left knee, bend your right, skandasana at the back of your mat. You can set the hips down, grab the right angle with your left hand. Inhale, reach over to your left. And exhale, push the right knee open and left fingers reaching up. Inhale, lengthen over to your left. And exhale, open your chest. Inhale again, you can grab your ankle and maybe right hand behind you. Lift your hips up, swing your hips up. Inhale, sideways. And exhale, swing it up. Inhale. And exhale. Nice, bring the hips down. Left hand behind you. And then see if you can lift the left leg off the floor. Maybe even turning out so the heel is pointing up. Lift it up with your inner thighs, with your core. And release the left leg down. Through your skandasana, as a little ninja, we move forward to the warrior two. Open your arms, level your hips, bring the hips down a little more, open your shoulders, turn the left palm facing up and inhale, reverse the warrior up and over, side body stretch. Frame your left foot with your hands, step your left foot back into your plank, and exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Take a breath. Enjoy it. Get back at it. And then bring your hips down to your plank. Start to shift weight onto your right hand and turn your heels over to your right. So you are in your side plank on the right hand. Bring the left hand to your chest, to your heart. And now bend your knees, bring the hips a little closer to your heels, weight back. And then extend right shoulder over your right wrist. 
Again, inhale, bend. Exhale, back into your side plank, extend. Inhale, really strengthening the right shoulder. Make sure not to hyperextend the right elbow. Extend. Let's do one more. Extend. And now step the left foot up and over behind your right leg. Wild thing. Flip dog. Stay on the ball of your left foot. And just lift your hips and your chest up. Feel your chest lifting up. Feel it on your left Palm, chest, heart, lifting up. Nice. Look down and come back into your plank pose. To the other side. Turn your heels over to your left. And right hand on your chest, on your heart. Inhale, bend your knees. Hips closer to your heels. And exhale, shift weight forward, shoulder over your wrist. Again, inhale. And exhale, feel the attachment points on the floor. Really feel your feet and especially the left hand, all the fingers and knuckles grounded on the floor. Inhale. Exhale. Let's do one more. Inhale. Exhale. And then step your right foot behind your left leg. Stay in the ball of your right foot. Lift your hips and your chest. Really feel your heart rising up, lifting up. Feel the heat, feel the heartbeat. Trust it. And look down. Come back into your plank pose for the moment. You can lift your hips up. Really press away from your hands to create length for your side bodies. Now bring the hips down again to your high plank and then lower down to your elbows. Start to turn over to your right. So turn your heels to your right and step the left foot behind your right leg. Stay on the ball of your left foot and again lift your chest up. Bring the left hand to your heart and lift it up, hips up. Nice. Come back into your forearm plank. Level your hips. Turn your heels over to your left. Step the right foot behind you. Right hand on your heart and lift your chest. Lift your hips. Really press the left elbow down and trust your left shoulder. Nice. Come back into your dolphin. Or actually, let's stay here for arm plank. You can just release the knees down. Open your knees a little wider. Pick those together. Lean back. Hips down to your heels. Bring the elbows closer together. Hands together. And for the moment, just bend your elbows to bring your thumbs behind your head, behind your neck. You even walk your elbows a little forward so you can lean back and let the chest armpits melt down send feel loving breaths between your shoulder blades Start to extend your arms, shift that forward, tuck your toes under and lift your hips back up to your down dog. Inhale, lift your right leg up to the ceiling, three-legged dog. Exhale, bend your right knee underneath you, shift the body weight forward and tap your right knee to your right elbow. Really bring the weight forward, shoulders over your wrist. And then start to turn your left heel down, extend the right leg underneath you to your falling, tri falling triangle. You can um, keep it floating off the floor or just lower the leg down. And then let's all lower the leg down. And just start to lower the hips down. So you are in the end facing 
the back diagonal of your mat. <laughs> Legs are a little bit wider apart, don't open too far. So this is not about the flexibility. Now you wanna bring the arms over your head and grab your opposite elbows. Really, grab your opposite elbows. Feel like you wanna lift your elbows up. You wanna lengthen your waist, the space between your lowest ribs and your hips. Really lengthen, even walk your sit bones out and then start to lengthen down. Try to keep the biceps by your ears through the length. Your legs are active. You don't want to round. Only go as far as you can to really lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Keep it really active. Create length. Pull your elbows out. Lengthen to lower down. And slowly bring the body upright. Release your arms. Bring the right hand down and then come back into your falling triangle. Maybe float the right leg off the floor. Bring the left hand down, right knee into your chest and flip it over for your slip dog, wild thing. Right arm reaches up to the ceiling or over your head. Lift your hips up, open your chest. Now lower the hips a little, look down and gently with the control, step your right foot next to your left hand. Bend your left knee a little or actually bring it down all the way. Let's do something different. Untuck your left toes and you can uh, back off a little. Don't go to the deepest stretch right yet. Again, find the inner thigh activation I always talk about. Squeezing the mat and then interlace <laughs> your fingers on top of your right thigh. Pull the navel in and up and see if you can start to lengthen the left leg behind you. Still pulling the right hip back into the center line, left thigh bone forward. Really lengthen the lower core. Strong left ankle. Make sure the heel is not flopping out to the side. So squeeze the heel, left heel into the center line. Strong core, lengthen. And then Bend your left knee back down to the floor. Tuck your left toes under. Lift the left knee off the floor. A few centimeters, hands together. Bend your elbows. Bring the thumbs behind your neck. And as you start to straighten the left leg behind you, start to straighten the arms behind you. Really open your heart. Still creating length for your lower back. Open your heart. Nice. Release hands down either side of your right foot. Step, step the right foot back for your chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. And inhale, lift your left leg up to the ceiling. Three-legged dog. Bend your knee underneath you, round your spine, shift weight forward and tap the left knee to your left elbow really gently. Then start to turn the right heel down, extend the left leg underneath you over to your right, falling triangle. You can keep it floating off the floor if that's something for you today. And then slowly release the left leg down, bring your hips down, turn towards the back diagonal of your mat. And again, grab your opposite elbows, walk your sit bones out, lengthen the side bodies through the length, start to fold forward at your hips. Inhale, lengthen, pull the elbows out to lengthen the side bodies, and exhale, lower down. Inhale, creating length for the whole spine, and exhale, lower down. One more inhale to lengthen, lengthen, and exhale. Nice, come back up, release your arms, left hand behind you, back into the falling triangle. Maybe float the left leg off the floor in a tie activation. Bring the right hand down, left knee into your chest, and then flip it over, right heel down. Flip dog, wild thing. Lift your hips, lift your, lift your chest, maybe reach up and over to really open your heart. 
Nice, lower the hips a little, look forward with the control. Bring the left knee in and step the left foot forward next to your right hand. Bring the right knee down. You can back off a little, untuck your right toes. Again, find squareness, inner thigh activation, lift the navel in and up. Right hip forward, interlace your fingers on top of your left thigh and see if you can start to lengthen the right knee behind you. You don't have to lock it, but lengthen. Left hip back, right thigh bone gently forward, pull the lower belly in, really lengthen. Try not to arch back more, maybe a diagonal line, shoulders back. Lengthen, lengthen, lengthen and check the alignment so you are not overstretching the outer edge of your right foot. Squeeze the heel in and release the right knee down. Tuck your right toes under, bend your elbows, hands together, thumbs behind your head. Lift the right knee off the floor again. Level your hips, lengthen the lower back. And as you start to strengthen the right knee behind you, extend your arms, maybe biceps by your ears, even behind to open your heart. Just forward, shoulders back, still creating length for the lower back. And release, hands down. Step your left foot back. Exhale, hug the elbows in Chaturanga. Inhale, open. And exhale, hips up to your down dog. Take one resetting, calming breath in. And breath out. And for the next one, it is much easier if you turn the left heel in just a little. So your toes are slightly pointing out. You can ground the whole left foot down to the floor. Start to lift your right leg up to the ceiling, three-legged dog, maybe floating the left fingers off the floor as well, finding your balance. And here we go, we start to shift the body weight forward, bring the right knee to meet your right elbow. Try to get the shoulders forward. And then start to turn into your falling triangle, cross the Right leg underneath you, extend it over to your side, left arm reaches up to the ceiling and release the right leg down again, same way, sit the hips down, you're facing the back diagonal, grab your opposite elbows, lengthen lift to lower down, again lengthen to reach out, maybe not even lower down, more think of a Reaching out, reaching out, reaching out. Nice. And release slowly. Come all the way up. Right hand behind you. Once again, falling triangle. Bring the left hand down, right knee into your chest. Flip the dog, turn the left heel out. Right ball of the foot on the floor. You can stay in a flip dog or if you want, Maybe also bend your left knee, start to find your transition to your wheel. Careful with your shoulders. Open your chest. You can shift the weight a little front and back. Feel your hands and your feet. Transition back, look down, extend the left leg. Right arm reaches up to the ceiling, bend your right knee into your chest and take a one controlled step forward next to your left hand. Nice. Release the left knee down for the moment. Again, bring your hands together, bend your elbows, thumbs behind your head. Lift the left knee off the floor. Start to extend the left leg behind you. Extend your arms, open your chest, create length. And then bring the hands together to your heart center. Shift the body weight forward and start to float the left leg off the floor. Warrior three. Dare to shift the body weight forward enough. Weight is more on your toes. Really press the big toe mount down. Level your hips. And then bend your right knee, take a long step back, 
Bend your left knee as well. One more time, thumbs behind your head. Lengthen the left leg, reach your arms to the back diagonal, open your heart and release, hands down. Step your right foot back for Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Reset, get back into your breath. The other side. Now turn the right heel in a little so you can really press the whole right foot down. Right big toe mound and the outer edge. Start to float the left leg off the floor, three-legged dog. Maybe find your balance and float the right arm off the floor as well. And then the tricky one, start to shift the body weight forward, round the left knee underneath you. Try to bring the left knee to meet your left elbow, shift the weight forward, turn the right heel in. Falling triangle, extend the left leg over to your right, floating off the floor or resting on the floor. <laughs> and then release the left leg down, bring the hips down, again turn towards the back corner. Grab your opposite elbows, maybe the opposite way. That doesn't feel so natural. Lengthen and fold forward. Inhale, create length. Exhale, reach out. Inhale. Exhale. One last inhale. Exhale and slowly bring your body upright. Release your arms. Left hand behind you. Find your falling triangle again. Float the right leg off, oh sorry, the left leg off the floor. Return the right hand down, left knee into your chest. Flip the dog. You can stay here on the ball of your left foot. All over the left heel down, bend your right knee as well and start to find your um, transition for your wheel. Always mindful with your shoulders. Again, you can shift weight a little side to side. Really feel your hands and your feet on the floor. So nice to feel the connection with the floor after sweaty practice. <laughs> and then slow transition back, turn your right fingers forward. Extend the right leg. Come to the ball of your left foot, left knee into your chest. And with the control, step your left foot forward next to your right hand. <laughs> nice. Bend your right knee, you can even bring it down to the floor for a second. Again, hands together. Bend your elbows, thumbs behind your head. And float the right knee off the floor. Once you start to extend the right leg back behind you, reach your fingers towards the back diagonal. Open your chest, still create length for your waist. Push your chest forward. Hands together to your heart center. Nice diagonal line. And then shift the body weight forward, float the right leg off the floor, warrior three. No need to lock your standing knee, supporting knee. Just shift the body weight forward, level your hips, open your heart. Feel the inner power. And take a long step back. Bend your right knee again. Thumbs behind your neck. And once you extend, extend, extend your arms as well. Open. And frame your left foot with your hands. Step your left foot back for your last chaturanga. Go slow with the good control. Shift the body weight forward. In your chaturanga, maybe try to bring the elbows on top of your wrist. So go forward enough. Inhale. Open your heart, broaden your collarbones, still supporting with the lower core. And then exhale, lift your hips up to your down dog. Take an inhale. And exhale. Release the knees down. 
puppy pose, anahata, you can start to walk your hands forward. Let your elbows, your forehead relax on the floor or chin forward and let the chest melt down. Try to relax your fingers, your hands, your arms, your shoulders and breathe into the space between your shoulder blades and to your lower belly. Take a few more inhales, few more exhales. And then really slowly start to walk your hands back. You can bring your knees together, toes together and release your forehead down for your embryo pose. You can move your hips to the side to side. Sometimes I like to bring my hands like in my back pockets and gently press the hips down. A little round my spine extra more. Press your hips down and then really slowly, once you're ready, start to round up. Hit up the really last. Rotate the shoulders back and down. And find your final relaxation, final sabasana, whatever serves you the best after this practice. So, like I always say, take your time. I leave you here so you can decide what is the best for you today. You can stop the video and just take your time in the final savasana. Um, one playful practice again. Hopefully you had as much fun as I had. Hopefully you enjoyed the practice. Um, yeah, hopefully I see you in the next one. And in the meanwhile, Enjoy your final sabasana and I'll be seeing you soon. <laughs> Namaste.